Lions TV, this is The Den Daily bringing you all the latest gossip, views and transfer news from in and around The Den. The news actually broke yesterday. I was out on the fishing lakes catching not a lot other than sunburn that Millwall are interested in AFC Wimbledon's young star Jack Rudoni who turned 21 earlier this week. This is one now that really excites me, really excites me. I've said what I want to say on the Ferguson thing and I don't think that we can get near what they want. So it's a pointless bid. This, on the other hand, ticks all the boxes for me. Young talent, doing well in the leagues below. It's going to be a permanent transfer. He's actually employed his trade and lived his whole life literally just up the road. So not a massive transition to make for him. And that, in some ways, puts us in the driving seat as... As we know, as always, there's other interests from other clubs in the division, including Huddersfield and Bristol City. Rodoni joined the Wombles back in 2011, came through their youth system, came into their first team, and since 2019, he has made 91 appearances, scoring 16 goals. However, last season was his real breakthrough season, scoring 12 of those 16 and being voted the club's player of the year at just 20 years old. As I said, he's turned 21 last week. They've had bids for him before in January. They turned them down. But of course, AFC Wimbledon now relegated to League Two. New manager in, in Johnny Jackson. And he's alluded to in the press this morning that he wants to try and keep hold of him. But realistically, they're not going to be able to. They've had offers for around a million. And they've said anything in excess of that, they will have to consider. Gary Rout has also alluded to in the press yesterday that we've got bids in. For two players that will both break a current transfer record of Ryan Leonard, which I believe to be around 1.6. Some some press reports say 1.2 for Leonard. I'm sure it is 1.5 for Bradshaw, 1.6 for Leonard. So we got bids in for two players that would exceed that number. I believe one to be Ferguson. I believe the other to be Rodoni. I can't say Rodoni for some reason. It's Rodoni. It just rolls off the tongue right. Let's hope we can get this guy. Listen, I'm the first one to moan. I'm the first one to criticise when we go for players out of our wage budget, out of our transfer budget and put in silly piddly bids. This, to me, as I said, fits the bill perfectly. A young player progressing really, really well in League One last season. His team was dropped into League Two. He's not going to be there next season. He will be elsewhere. As I said, there is interest from other clubs in the division, including Huddersfield, Bristol City and a couple of others. The sway I think that we've got is... He's from around our manor. He's from, I think he's from our Epsom way. Sorry, bit of a posh guy. Maybe posh George can get an arm around him. But look, he's in and around the vicinity. That's all we need to know. And I always say that. And always, after I've done the videos, I think to myself, well, does it really matter? Some players are not fussed about going up north. But a youngster, been in and around South East London, Kent, sorry, his whole life. I imagine that Mill will be the perfect fit. He's a winger. He's a midfielder. He's an attacking midfielder. He's a forward. He's a versatile player. So... Definitely the type of player that Gary Rowett likes to go after and a possible replacement for Jeb Wallace. Of course, the players return to pre-season today for their pre-assessment. So they're running in and see how many fucking Domino's pizzas they've had over the summer. So for those, by the way, saying Jeb Wallace isn't our player, Jeb Wallace is still our player until the 30th of June. The reason being is usually we go back later, wouldn't we? The players would go back later from pre-season. However, the Winter World Cup has seen it be a strange situation. So Jed is now back in training, supposedly. I've had no updates yet from Calmont Road. But he's still a mill player until the 30th of June. For those saying he isn't a mill player, he is. So let's wait and see what happens on that one. But I think Rudoni, whether Jed stays or not, will be a fantastic player. And, and again, build a team. Can't keep relying on these low needs. Get a youngster in who's done well with the lower divisions. If he doesn't do the business, I've got no issues with that. We took a chance. We stayed within our wage budget and, and our price range. And, and we took a chance on a younger player. He didn't make the step up okay. Not the end of the world. But they're definitely the type of players that we should be looking for. And I'll bring you more, hopefully, on that one as the day progresses. So that's your lot for the Den Day. I'm expecting Ollie Burke to get done at some point, if not today. Definitely this week on a permanent from Sheffield United. But as I said, keep your eyes peeled and hopefully these videos will be flowing today. I'll be back for a live stream tomorrow morning at 8.45. Set the alarms for that one. Um, the fixture release day as well. So... Plenty of content coming over the next two days. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Come on, you Lions.